Hi, this is Katrina from KatrinaKCreations.com and this is part two of Get Your Sewing Done Faster Without Sacrificing the Quality of Your Work. Today I want to take you inside the pattern editor of the pattern making software I use which is Pattern Master Boutique 5 from WildGender.com. So now let me show you how to chew a dart. And you know how you would do it on the table. But let me show you how you can do it. And all you have to do is go over to the left here where it says true dart. If you look up in this upper left hand corner, it will always give you prompts as to what to do within each function. So we're in the true dart function. So it's telling us click on the line or arc that the dart folds into alright so we're gonna fold it toward the center front so this is the line we want to pick choose if you can see that line is red then it says snap to the dart end attached to the previous line well this is the dart end attached to the line so we're just gonna snap to that snap to the dart point snap to the second the end of the second dart leg and we have our true dart that we can go in and make those the line the same color which is magenta and apply and we can also make it the same thickness and apply okay so that's how you would true your dart The pink is my front skirt pattern. The blue is my back skirt pattern. This is a basic straight skirt, but I want to make it A-line and I want to keep my darts. So the method I would use is over here to my left, my slash and pivot method. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from my dart end straight line down to the hemline on the front and on the back. I'm going to make these lines thicker so that you'll be able to see them easily. And I'm going to use my intersect function to so that they won't extend past my hemline and if you see here at the top these are just quick buttons that you can instead of going to tools and then click the button button you can go right up here at the top here and not all of them are up here but most of them the ones that I use frequently are up here and now I'm going to click go to the left and click on the slash pivot method or function I'm going to snap to the pivot point let's go to the front first now the pivot point would be where I want the pattern to stay stationary while the rest of it moves I'm going to snap to the other, the other end of my pivot line this black line is the pivot line so I'm going to snap to the other end and now I'm going to select the objects that I want to rotate so I want all of this these lines that just turn red are the ones that I want to rotate. Again, I'm going to keep my dart. So I'm going to hit apply and it's asking me how many inches do I want it to rotate. So I'm just going to say four inches. And I want it to rotate clockwise and I'm going to hit apply. All right. So I still have a dart, not much of a dart, but I still have a dart there and it has rotated clockwise okay I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the same thing to the back so now I'm gonna remove the lines that I don't need and I don't need these pivot lines anymore so I'm going to delete them I'm also gonna delete these lines on my hem because I'm gonna create a new line and 
this the lines that are connected to my center front and center back I'm just going to shorten them a little bit so I'm going to go to move point snap to that point hold down a control key so that my line remains straight and just shorten it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a curved line now to my hemline another function that I, I really like about this software is if I wanted to make sure my side seams are the same length because of course these are going to be sewn together all I have to do is go to my tape measure down here on the left and this gives me an opportunity to add the measurement of one or more lines so my I'm going to hold down the shift key so I can select the entire side seam and I'm going to press 1 because that's my first measurement as you can see this measures about 30 and a quarter then I'm going to go over to my back and do the same thing and that's my second measurement and then I'm going to click minus to see what the difference is and as you can see this is only about a sixteenth of an inch difference that's no big deal so my side seams are fine okay that's a nice uh, handy tape measure built right within the software another thing I, I can also check and I'm going to group these lines back together I'm going to flip my back piece. I just want to check and see what that looks like when one piece is on top of the other. That's pretty good. So we can flip this back. And there I have it. I have an A-line skirt and I kept my darts and of course I didn't have to keep my darts if I didn't want them but in this case I chose to keep the darts. And that's my front, the pink and the blue is the back. What you're looking at now is the finished pattern. I've added seam allowances, I've added text, and also created a waistband. In part three of Get Your Sewing Projects Done Faster Without Sacrificing the Quality of Your Work, I'm going to show you how I did that, how I added the seam allowances, how I added the text, how I created the waistband, and I also want to take you inside the yardage calculator, and that's where you can calculate how much fabric you need for your pattern. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer any questions that you may have, and I hope that you will join me for part three. And again, this is Katrina from KatrinaKCreations.com. Thank you so much for watching.